wow <laughs> i have just done the christmas food shop um this is the first year that we've hosted christmas um so we've always gone to my parents house before and yeah it's really chaotic doing the christmas food shop <laughs> i think i made the right decision i got to tesco's for like nine o'clock in the morning um and i don't even know what time it is now um it is 11 it's not telling me the fuel's too low um it's not telling me come on tell stop telling me the fuel's too low it is 11 30 <laughs> so i've been in tesco's for like two and a bit hours um but i've got all the food shopping done everything for christmas i think there's probably a couple of bits that my dad or my mum or my aunt and uncle will want to pick up but that's fine we can do that on christmas eve it's not a problem but yeah i feel like i have no money now <laughs> and um i have a car full of christmas food it is absolutely ridiculous um but i'm looking forward to it all um so yeah I need to get home and get all this unloaded. Um, I've got a few bits for the kids' stockings, so I need to try and unload everything without them noticing. Um, and then it's just basically operation tidy up the house for everyone arriving tomorrow, really. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with the Vlogmas videos for today and tomorrow um, is I'm going to combine them because I'd quite like to put up Christmas Eve's christmas eve vlogmas on christmas eve rather than putting it up on christmas day if that makes sense because obviously vlogmas finishes um at christmas um so i think i'm going to combine um saturday and sunday's vlogmas into kind of one weekend um one sort of a weekend vlog for one day which will go up tomorrow and um then you can sort of experience our christmas eve as christmas eve happens um Anyway, enough rambling. I need to get home and get all this stuff in the fridge and the cupboards and relieve Tom of two children who are both back to normal completely. You'll be very, very glad to hear. <laughs> See you all later. It's time to open some advent calendars. So I will start with my swap. It's the 22nd today. It's getting low. Excuse the banging and crashing. Tom is in the kitchen doing various cooking bits. Here we go, lovely red and purples and blacks, and of course the chocolate. And then the Down Sheep Lane calendar. I'm actually going to be a little bit naughty, and I'm going to open two of these right now. Um, although you won't be seeing this until the 23rd anyway, so there's no spoilers, hopefully. But I want to try and get the cowl for my mum finished before um finished before christmas eve if that makes sense i want to be able to block it christmas eve evening so that i can actually wrap it up on christmas day so i need to get a little bit ahead on it 
So day number 22 is this one here. It's pretty. And this is, I'm just looking up the list of names. This is the tale of the three brothers. And number 23, this one here, is called Always. So those are my two advents. And then I've also got two days, because I forgot to open this one yesterday. So we've also got day 11 of the... Um, 12 Days of Geekness, which I am opening. So we have... It goes to 11, which is not a reference I get. This is Spinal Tap. Mm, not really a... Not really a reference I get. Oh, that's upside down. But it's a beautiful colour. And it comes with a sticker. Um, and then the last one I'm going to open quickly is my Lay Family Yarn and Nora George one. And today's is, oh, a gorgeous burgundy. Sort of a burgundy purple. Really lovely. So that is all my advent calendars. So I am going to wind these ones up and sit down and make a start on them. Welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas, combined with day 22 a little bit, but anyway. Um, my brain is completely scattered. I have just sent Tom um, to the recycling drop-off point by the shops locally to check whether I've recycled Arthur's Christmas present, only to realise that um, I've already wrapped it up. <laughs> so poor Tom has been sent to the shop to look for look through recycling in the hope of finding Arthur's Christmas present buried in a box somewhere and I've already wrapped it up oh my brain is so scrambled I am gonna go and get a cup of tea you down there Arthur you are quite relieved aren't you that your present hasn't been recycled you think it's very funny oh dear <laughs> We are just trying to sort out the logistics of where everyone is going to sit for Christmas dinner. <laughs> this is our normal dining table. This is the office table from upstairs, which is technically a dining table too. I have borrowed some chairs from um, Leona at Fluff. <laughs> um, so we have got enough chairs for everyone, um, although there's still one upstairs in the office. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a squeeze. This doorway does not help at all because you can't quite get one person on either side of the table in the midst of that doorway. But I think it'll be all right. No, we're stinky pie! 